tonight. Uh, we're we're going to be starting here in about five minutes. Uh, we are uh, going to be airing live from uh, uh, Arizona tonight. Uh, we're following uh, Brian Adams, Pro Wrestling Extravaganza. But uh, while, we, while we wait for uh, the time to come up, I, I just figured uh, we'd just warm uh, just talk to you guys see who's here in the crowd tonight. By the way, my, I'm Mike Lazarus. I'm actually the producer of the panel show. Um, and we got Chris and Brian in the tech booth up there. Uh, anybody, uh, anybody from out of town here tonight? Anybody just stopping by for the first time? Anybody ever been to the panel show before? No? no. Oh my god, why, why in the world would you come to the panel show? If you haven't heard anything about it. Do you guys know anything about the panel show? Just, no? Oh, man, you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, we are going to entertain you tonight. Um, so actually, tonight's our special Groundhog's Day episode. Is it Groundhog Day or Groundhogs? Is it a plural? I mean, no plural? Possessive? Dog, so. But is it possessive? Is it his day? Ooh. Ah, see, I'm not sure. Uh, so, so we, uh, he actually, uh, he didn't see a shadow, so spring's coming early, right? No. That's exciting. Woo. No? Yeah. Really? I've read conflicting reports. <laughs> I think parts of Donnie <laughs> film. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of groundhogs out there, guys. I don't know if you know that. There's like a groundhog in like every, every state has two or three. Um... But since, since it is the Groundhog's, Groundhog's Day, uh, you know, it's a weather-related show. We're going to be talking a lot about weather today. It's going to be very fun. Uh, how was the weather today in Austin? I was inside all day. So cold. It was cold? Yeah. Like, what was the temperature? Like 57. Oh, very cold. Very cold. I'm from the Northeast. That's like a nice January day. You know, you wear a bathing suit when it's like 57. Uh, we, uh, we, oh, come on in, guys. Don't worry. You're not late. The show doesn't start until 8.05. You're doing great right now. Everybody's doing great. Uh, we're happy that you're here. Uh, I think some of you have been to the show before. We actually have a couple of returning people, so I promise it's not something that you don't come to again after you see it. I promise. I mean, hopefully. Uh, we also, I think we have a birthday in the house tonight. Hey! Thank you for coming out. I hope I don't ruin your birthday tonight. Um, we, uh, we have a, a big, uh, actually an action-packed panel ready for you guys tonight. Uh, my brother will be on the panel. What? what? And it's going to be fun because there's two people, him and someone else, and you're going to have to guess which one is my brother and which one is it. And you might be one. It's exciting. Uh, we have a new game show that we're going to be debuting tonight. You guys are here for like a world premiere show. This is, I think, the first ever weather-themed show in the new movement's history as well. So uh, it won't be it won't be too boring. I hope. Um, so we're going to get started. Uh, a couple ground rules, just so you guys understand what we're doing here. Uh, we will talk to you like I'm currently doing, and uh, you know, interacting is great. And then there are moments uh, that interacting would be a bad idea, uh, and I know you're used to watching things at home, uh, but we can actually hear everything you're saying and everything you're doing, so if you could keep some of the comments to yourself, or I mean, if you could be really quiet when you whisper, that would be fine, but chances are we'll hear you anyway. Um, and unless you're like being complimentary, that would be great. Um, oh, and one last, how do you guys feel about this suit? Is this, do you like this suit? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The only reason that I ask is because my friend who helped me pick it out, uh, she's actually in the audience, and whenever we go out, she asks everybody how they feel about the suit. Um, and, I, and I like to think that it's because she's trying to get me compliments, but it's really always followed with, because I picked that out. And, uh, uh, that's a great suit. Okay, so it looks like it's time, so I think, Chris, we're getting ready.
Darth Vader farted there or something. We good? Is that you or me? Uh, no, I'm totally paranoid about the microphone. Yeah, I don't know who that was. Me? Everybody stay still. How we doing? Yeah. I think we're good. Chris Lee by the tech booth gives Chris us a thumbs up. Chris Lee by the tech booth. Ooh, Woo! that lights up. <laughs> this one? This one's hot. It's, it's hot. It's a hot mic. We got a hot crowd? How's everyone doing tonight? Ow! Oh, cool. You do that with talk shows, right? You can say, how's everyone doing? If you're a stand-up, you don't want to do that. That's... Well, that, that's how most people in town start their sets. So. Oh, maybe you do want to do that. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Who am I to tell Sam that's what to do? That's true. How you doing, Les? I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Groundhog Day. Groundhog, it's exciting. Groundhog Day. Uh, I don't know. We had a mixed reaction when I was talking about this earlier. Ground, Groundhog? That, Who's for Groundhog? Yeah, we're going Groundhog. That's, that's a quiet voting. <laughs> <laughs> Did the Groundhogs people make some noise? Woo! We got Woo! one. Two. <laughs> they can't decide. Obviously, Groundhogs. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Groundhogs Day! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Groundhogs Day back. No, they're, they're nervous. I mean, it's here. Did you tell them not to talk? Uh, not the whole show. Yeah. Only this, when it's not there. That's the part where you can talk. It's over now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the monologue, right? Uh, uh, yes. Let's do some monologue here. Let's go. Papa John Schnatter. Shatter. Shatter. Papa John, from Papa John's Pizza, claims in a new biography, biography, autobiography? Uh, I don't think Was he interviewed for? He doesn't write. That's too many, that's too many words. <laughs> too many words. For Papa John, yeah. I didn't know he had a quota. <laughs> He's he limited does. on his verbiage. It's true. Papa John claims in a new biography that uh, regulations like the Affordable Care Act are causing the U.S. to be like Germany in 1867. Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah. You just don't know. <laughs> Not to disagree with the good father, but Germany didn't exist until 1871, which coincidentally is the same year they invented garlic dipping sauce. <laughs> <sighs> you like dinosaurs, right? I am a huge dinosaur guy. You can tell, right? Big nerd. Dinosaur nerd. Well, paleontologists, those are dinosaur doctors, right? If you're a dinosaur and you're sick, you go to the paleontologist. That was quick. It's a little sudden. <laughs> paleontologists claim to have discovered the world's oldest protein in a 195 million year old dinosaur fossil. Nice. It's old. I, 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 that's that's I, older than most of my jokes. <laughs> Yes. Not all. Uh, I uh, I would love to go see that protein. You would. Is it in like is it touring in museums or anything like that, right, JJ? No, if you want to see it, you can just head down to your local mall. It's in supplement form on the shelf at GNC. <laughs> we took too long on that. That one. was way too long. Yeah, we should we should probably get speak. right to it. Yeah. yeah. The, the president. <laughs> <laughs> The president's been spending a lot of time on the phone with world leaders this week. Uh, is that his pineapple phone? Yeah, no, that's his pineapple phone. It's gorgeous. Is that, is that an actual picture of the president? That's a, uh, it's an alternative actual picture <laughs> of the president. But yeah, he's been on the phone with world leaders, you know, uh, what, what's her name in Germany? Merkel? 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 Uh, England? France? Yeah, Mexico, you know, good. world leaders. Yeah. Um, it was all apparently going okay, considering until uh, until last night he actually got a little heated with the Prime Minister of Australia and ended up hanging up on the guy. <laughs> Crikey. Not a good way to start. Um, TSA officials have reportedly detained a large sunburned man with a boomerang at Reagan International Airport who keeps shouting, That's not a visa! That's a visa! <laughs> Australian. Yes. Beyonce! Beyonce? I don't know if I should 
Yes. Yes. Anybody here a baseball fan? You ever see him like call in a pinch hitter? Relief pitcher. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna call in some pinch relief. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and bring out a simply Courtney. Uh, maybe you can help us tell this. I'll step back and let you tell the guys. Oh, it's the black one, right? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of handle things like this around here. You got topics that are a little bit too dark. I can kind of. Come <laughs> anyway, so uh, at this point, there are more pe more black people inside of Beyonce than there are in Trump's cabinet. <laughs> IBM. International business machines. Computers. IBM reports that they're training Watson. Remember Watson? Oh, yeah, yeah, Watson. He's a uh, former Jeopardy champion. Yeah, the computer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Computer. Um, IBM's training Watson to do taxes for large corporations. Um, programmers are excited about reclaiming market share. Jeopardy? That's him. Look at him crushing. <laughs> programmers $147 on Jeopardy. <laughs> it's all round numbers. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, this computer. Right. So yeah, Watson's going to do taxes for large corporations. Programmers are excited about reclaiming market share, but when Watson was asked, he said corporate taxes, it's about as obsolete as chess. Mm. You know, corporations don't pay taxes. Yes. <laughs> oh, a new trend in amateur robotics is to have a rudimentary robot arm click the I am not a robot captcha to gain entry to websites. Um, oh, yeah, there it is. Watson said, fuck, I knew I picked the wrong major. <laughs> yeah, we got through the monologue, okay. <laughs> I, uh, I think it's, uh, you know, it is a weather-related show. Like I said earlier, we're going to uh, bring out the panel show Weather Correspondent, uh, Virgil. I think that's a good idea. Let's spread the blame. Yeah, let's spread the blame. Hi. <laughs> You live, you read me, last. Oh, yeah, I, I, I hear you loud and clear, Virgil. How's it going out there in uh, Miami? Oh, uh, it's uh, there it goes. Oh, it's a little bright out here. A little bright. A little, a little bright out here in it's sunny bright. Miami. Oh, there we go. That was much better. It was a little too bright earlier, but now you can see me. Virgil, I'm, I'm a little confused. I, I thought you were out there on Tornado Watch. That's right, Blas! Tornado Watch 2017 here in sunny Miami. I'm, uh, uh, I'm happy to report, no tornadoes! <laughs> uh, Virgil, I feel like this is a waste of our uh, budget, sending you around to report nothing. Blas, what are you talking about? It, safety requires constant vigilance. I mean, you, you, you turn your eyes for, for one second and BOOM! Miami's gone, just a flattened wreck of wasted dreams and hopes and, 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 and dashed, dashed families. And, uh, you really want that to happen? I'm, I'm doing God's work, class. I'm, uh, I'm running my salary. I'm, 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 I'm Virgil. I, I did not mean to upset you. Clearly, uh, that is not something I wanted to do with, with you. Oh, that's okay, Laz. Uh, hey, uh, uh, back to you in the studio. I'll, uh, I'll be heading to, to sunny Omaha for, uh, for, for my next one. So I'll see you in a bit. Uh, Woo! Be, be safe in your travels, Virgil. Virgil Shelby, everybody. <laughs> hey, welcome back.
Thank you. Thank you. We have a, a little segment we call Trends with Friends. These we, are the uh, trends. You're the friends. That's right. We talk about the trends of the day with uh, the friends that come and actually see us. So if you didn't realize that you are now our friend, so sorry about that. Um, but uh, this, is, this is a little bit different because I was doing a lot of research on Groundhog Day, you know, because I'm one to do research. And uh, it turns out there are thousands of groundhogs that have names, and they're all over the country. And uh, enough to really like field a whole basketball team. Um, and I thought that it would be fun to announce the starting five. Um, let's do it! Let's do it! Oh no, coming to the arena! <laughs> the U.S. Brown Dogs! Let's hear it! From Pogsatani, Pennsylvania, Pogsatani Phil! Every February 2nd, y'all like to, you know, play with the groundhogs and stuff like that. Um, I think that's kind of jacked up. I think y'all need to be talking to. And you know what? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to come down there and give y'all a piece of my mind. Straight up. I think it's about time that somebody just came up there and put y'all in y'all's place. I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all, okay? So, you just got to come down here? I, you sound? Is he... He sounds angry. Big. He sounds big and angry. <laughs> you're, you're a big guy. Yeah, but I'm not angry. <laughs> I, I, mean, I think, I mean, I if don't he's... don't have strong emotions at all. If he's here, he should come out. I, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, we didn't mean to offend anybody. We have nothing to hide from. Like, it would be fun if he came out. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I guess this is a What's up? How you doing? All right. How are you? I'm Doug Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disturbing stuff. Yeah. 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 stuff. I'm disturbing stuff. I'm disturbing stuff. What's up? Sir, you're a, you're a ground dog. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Jokes on you, surprise. <laughs> well, you didn't mention you the voicemail, and I didn't, you know, I don't think like, oh, that guy sounds like a ground dog when he talks. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. I'm a groundhog. I'm not an idiot. What's up with that? You know what? You know what? I took the leisure. I came on over. I stopped what I was doing. And I'm going to go ahead and send something to y'all's head person over there. I got a little, hold on. This is working with a slideshow. Groundhog's pet phones. Uh, yes, I think we got phones. What's up? Yeah. I, we got crickets. I'm crickets wireless. Obviously, I don't know. <laughs> We got no. Prairie PCS. <laughs> Just like Metro PCS with Prairies. <laughs> yeah. 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 My stuff ain't mixed right. My house ain't exposed. Yeah. Why is your journey growing all the time? You are on public access. They'll keep us up. All right. I'll put the bar right there. Whoever's the camera person put it right there. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to move this chair up. I, I want to talk. Oh yeah, Mr. Man, we got it. Is it coming through, Mr. Man? Yeah, I got it. Mr. Human over there. All right. So we've always been messed with. I feel like groundhogs have not been given that due. We have been present for so many different things in the world, so many important events. 
Harriet Tubman. Underground Railroad. How do y'all think she discovered that? <laughs> <laughs> My great grandma showed her what Underground Railroad was, gave her the idea. <laughs> underground Hog. Underground Hog Railroad. It was almost called that, but there was a naming conflict, so we changed it. <laughs> I, I feel like we would have, you know, been so so much more open to the groundhog contributions of Adam. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying. I mean, it was you know they had it suppressed in history. If you believe it or not, in that picture right there, if you zoom out, I don't know if we're capable of doing it right now. You, okay, no, we'll go to the next one. Right. <laughs> we can't zoom out, but if we could. My great grandma is right there to her left. Right here. Yeah, her right, y'all's left. Right. <laughs> yeah, somewhere, somewhere in that picture, you can see the tail right there, the shadow right there. There's a, a shadow that's being cast. That's her right there. <laughs> the your, your grandmother. Yes, God, great grandmother. Great grandmother. God, right that shoulder. Bless her. You want to go to the next one? Hey, y'all think he got an office, y'all? <laughs> it wasn't because y'all were voting. It's because we helped out. Okay, well, it was because y'all voted, but we was there. We supported him. He had. To, he was the first president to come over and actually get the support of the Groundhog community. <laughs> I don't think y'all understand how serious that is. We are around right now. We got this whole building surrounded. I don't think you understand that. We make things happen, y'all. Yeah, it, there's a lot of things you didn't know. So I'm here to kind of write those wrongs right now and kind of clear some things up. I'm happy, Mister. Mister. You can call me Phil. Uh, <laughs> I'm not Puck, Puck Stanley Phil. I'm Phil from Austin. Okay, Phil. Yeah. Right on. Next, next slide, please. George Washington Carver. Anybody know who this person is? Peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We didn't help him with peanut butter. I feel, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> no nuts. But the other things like peanuts and like you know, there's like a little salted variety and all of that. Who you think gave him the salt? Bam! That was us. Yep. That <laughs> happened. Groundhogs. Because peanuts come from the ground. Right. <laughs> Just like you. Guess who's always on the exact. You see, you figure it out now. I like the ladies and gentlemen to teach old dog new tricks. Tell me. <laughs> next, next slide. I called you an old dog. That's so cool. Oh. Twerking. <laughs> that was us. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my Aunt Janice over on 125th Street, New York, off of Harlem. <laughs> she was dropping because something was hot. And a girl came behind her and said, ooh, girl, let me try that. And so she started dropping it, too. And as you know, she's popping like that, just like you see in the picture. Both gluteus maximus cheeks come up and down and start gyrating. How about that? 1998. 98. 98. Check your Wikipedia. I will check it, but I ain't got good reception in here right yeah, now. I'm going to be outside. Yeah. Next, next slide. Kool-Aid. You damn right. <laughs> yes, we did. My cousin Red. Red? Red. The groundhog? Damn right. Red Kool-Aid. <laughs> and the groundhog. It's named after him. Not strawberry. We allergic to strawberries, by the way, y'all. Don't ever give a groundhog strawberries to blow up. Well, I'm this big now. <laughs> Cherry. Nope. Pink, nah, red. <laughs> Next time you get some red Kool-Aid, just look around the ground. You might see one of us pop up and get it right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next slide, please. Uh, Jack. Jackie Robinson. Yeah. That bag he's holding in his hand, guess where he got that from? Not from a groundhog, but from a beaver. Uh, Who's our cousins? <laughs> <laughs> I always thought there should be a beaver day. There should be a beaver day. Yeah. We, we, we fought for that. We, we actually are trying to fight for them right now. Campaign for the beaver to get a day. If you got a group on Facebook or anything, let me know. I'll, I'm Tell them. Yeah, happy to join. So we got field, we got field book on Facebook. I mean, it's what you say. Jackie Robinson, what's up, man? Right there. Next slide, please. Wow, most famous of us all. <laughs> This is the one that got out of the hood. <laughs> Are you telling me that Bill Murray is a groundhog? No, your old boy Phil. That's Phil okay. and Bill as we refer to him in the spot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's Phil, right there. The movie was named after Phil and Phil. They both named Phil in the movie, 
but what people don't know is his name really is Phil in real life. Really? Yes. Was it, so he was just playing himself? Pretty much. It was dope. It was, it was like it was method acting, but like he like lost so much weight for the part. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they could have the strawberries. Pretty much. Well, he can eat strawberries now. He can't eat strawberries. We, we died. He was alive, so he didn't eat no strawberries. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We yeah, have most famous of us all. R.I.P. He got shot. <laughs> Las Vegas. After a fight. He was in the same car as Tupac. <laughs> he was sitting in the back seat. He was sitting in the back seat. We told him he should have been riding with Suge Knight. <laughs> We told him you can drive as he demonstrated in this clip here. Why would you sit your ass in the back of that man's car? You gonna get shot. There's only bad things waiting for you in Las Vegas. You should have hung out with Bill Murray. Next slide, please. Boss Hog Outlaws. My people in H Town, y'all know what's up. Used to be called, they was trying to be the Groundhog Outlaws. We stopped that. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. We stopped for that. Slim Thug White like, T cut his braids off. <laughs> Bite your hair. I just had to throw that one in there just to show y'all what it was. So you can't like that. I told y'all we had this whole place around it. <laughs> Next slide. I don't even know if I got. Oh, that's it right there. Oh, happy Groundhog's Day. <laughs> for reals, though, but I want to keep it real with y'all. I don't want to get too much to take over your show, but um, stop it. Stop coming to our house taking us out. <laughs> For reals, every February 2nd is the same damn thing. You chilling with your daughter and your wife and all of a sudden somebody comes in and snatches you out, puts you in front of a bunch of people you don't know and scares the hell out of you. <laughs> Shadows are scary. Oh shit. No shit. <laughs> Shadows are scary as hell. That's why we don't like coming out. Stop it. Stop it. On your side. Yeah. Please. Think about the groundhogs. Think about the dads. <laughs> The daddy groundhog don't want to come out the ground. Not at 8 o'clock in the morning. He's been working all night. Why would you bring him out so early? How would you do that? It's a, it's, it's a conspiracy. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. Well, thank, you, thank you, Xavier, for coming out. Thank you. I feel like, uh, I feel like next year's Groundhog Day special is going to be a lot different. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, don't worry. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. we're, we're sorry. We're, we're very sorry. stuff for this for this but it's coming uh, uh fortunately no tsunamis here in omaha i'm here at, uh, in fenifrec park see the, uh, the lovely union pacific railroad behind me where it meets the tnno uh, in tennessee to new orleans virgil just a quick question on logistics for a tsunami in the middle of the country uh, what ocean and how big would that tsunami have to be to affect omaha Listen to me, lads. Climate change is real. <laughs> and it's coming. It is coming, sure as God's goddamn wrath, lads. It's coming. The Pacific will meet the Atlantic in the heartland of America. And that's going to be on you. It's going to be on all of you and your smoke belching cars. And these goddamn coal-powered railroads. 
One day Omaha will be like Atlantis and you will look at me and you will say, why didn't you warn us, Bertha? And I will say, I did. <laughs> but you plugged your ears full of money and capitalism. Look at me now! This look like it. Anyway, back to you in the studio. I'm, uh, I'm off to Juneau, Alaska next week. I'll see you soon.
Something you'll learn about taking the train across the country? One, don't do it. You <laughs> have to do Amish. It's just you and the Amish out there. Really? And you know who doesn't like to talk? The Amish. <laughs> but by yourself. I didn't go to the dining car. I ate mini sausage sandwiches that our mother made me. Oh, Two and a half days of mini Italian sausage sandwiches. No internet. Just what? me and wrestling that Mike had downloaded for me. <laughs> Not because of the trip, just because he had it. It was very lucky. I brought, a book. I brought the People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn. Didn't read it. <laughs> Got That's a great job. Job. <laughs> Howard Zinn. I read the first five pages. Yeah. It's a great I was book. like, this is blowing my mind. <laughs> I didn't touch really the train. You, did. you just didn't read all of it. Yeah. yeah. I think to say I didn't read all of it, you'd have to read. I don't know, 10 pages? <laughs> 1 to 10, it's like you didn't even start it. He was like, this is America, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the people's history of the United States, and then people are like, oh wow, let's talk about it. And I'm like, oh, time's up. <laughs> bus is here. <laughs> Not a bus stop. I gotta find one. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't read it, I don't know. <laughs> how, does, how does it start? Uh, he says, people think George Washington was a saint. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> and then he says, bless, bless you, you. and then it the <laughs> uh, okay. So do you think he's going to argue against the saint, the saintliness no. of uh, Mr. Dollar Bill? Here's the thing. JJ, as you all know, in our all collective line of work, the human race, uh, <laughs> sometimes... You have to fly. Don't forget the groundhogs. Down the ground. Hey, was that groundhog great or what? Hey, did he see his shadow? He did. Uh, there was controversy uh, earlier as well. Uh, I read that he, I don't know. He saw a shadow four more years of Trump. It's going to be a long winter. So, anyway, uh, I lost my train of thought when you brought up uh, groundhogs. So, about books. Oh yeah, let's change the subject. What's going on with you? Guys? So, so I'm actually, I'm, I'm happy you brought up wrestling earlier. Uh, the last thing that we, the three of us, worked on before we left uh, New Jersey, New York, that area. Um, some of you might know, some of you might not. Probably the ones that don't know us have no idea about this because uh, it's about our lives. How many uh, of you in there that don't know who we are? There's a lot of them actually. That's great. Good yeah. to see you guys. Six. Yeah. Isn't that exciting? That is exciting. <laughs> like, so, I'm sorry. Like your world famous. <laughs> Everybody knows Who us. here hasn't heard of Who here hasn't heard of Roy Hammer? <laughs> Roy Hammer is a stage name. Roy Hammer is the name that you call me. <laughs> He's the guy who does that show where he talks about books he hasn't read. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, anyway. <laughs> When we were growing up, we, uh... Where the red fern grows? <laughs> I thought that's good. Is that even a book? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a book. You didn't get the bridge, guys. Sorry. It's at least five pages. <laughs> the, I, I think I can try it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Uh, so anyway, when, when we were growing up, we, uh... We used to wrestle each other on a regular basis. Yes. And, uh, thank you. And, uh, I wanted to, like, grow up and be a pro wrestler, right? <laughs> And unfortunately, I, I stopped growing when I was like in eighth grade, so I would have to take steroids. If I, and I, I was like, ah, I'm not taking a shot in the ass, right? So, um, <laughs> that's where they can get the steroids. Anyway. Hey, it's the 21st century. You can get whatever you want. <laughs> Who's already come to you? Hey, yo. Thanks. That was the, that was, that was the hey, for him. Yeah, no, I know. But actually, no, I it wasn't. Deserving of a hayo. <laughs> Thank you. You just had an extra hayo. So anyway, 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 let's get to the story, guys. Um, so before we left, we decided we were never going to get to the story. We're going to have one last match. If you interrupt me again, we won't. <laughs> we're going to have one last match. <laughs> You've known him longer. Is he mad? <laughs> this is just how he is. And, <laughs> uh, and so we uh, told our parents to leave the house for a few hours. And uh, beat the shit out of each other. So uh, we recorded it. Can I just put a little? <laughs> thing? So my, this is the house that my grandmother owned. This oh, house. Oh, yeah, sentimental. So. Yeah, because I'm not like, yeah, we just start beating the shit out of each other. Uh, so this was, this was uh, our grandma's house that then my parents bought. 
and it became our house. And this is the only house we've ever lived in. We lived in like shitty apartments before then. It's true. And they were selling this house. They put the house on the market. And I'm a very sentimental human being. Sorry, guys. Um, so I was like, the only way to celebrate this is to have a house match. He is sentimental. He still has books from years ago. That's true. I, whatever. Uh, and so uh, the rule was we start in the attic uh, and we work our way down to the first floor and the first person to escape the house wins the match. Now the story here, as you all know, guys, let's just be honest with ourselves, pro wrestling is staged. It's a hard realization to come to. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta face reality. We all got to that point. We all get to that point. Thanks, Brian. No, uh, and so we had a story that we were telling here. Mike, five years older than me, I've never won a match, ever. This is true. He beat the shit out of me my whole life. Oh, come on. No, 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 it's okay. Like, it's staged. We planned it. And uh, so... Here's the story, right? So, the road to redemption is here. Now, for the record, this is 23 minutes. We're not watching the whole thing. We're not watching the whole thing. For you wrestling fans out there. Just the first five pages. What are we going to watch? First of all, I'm just going to also put this in context. They uh, had me come over to watch it. They put me in a room alone to, Red, to call it. Or handsome. To call it. Oh, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> I had a beard. Uh, I, I, uh, and, uh, I didn't see, I got high, and then I watched the match and called it like, uh, like an old, old, old announcer. An old southern announcer. An old southern announcer. So this is, I've been running away from this video since we made it, and here we are. <laughs> so we get September 13th, 2014. The brawl, to end it all. Here on 23 Park, Roy and... Mike. They've been battling all the 14 years. Alright, as far as you guys see, Red. We go to the next time. They've been, they've clawed, they've scratched. We go to the next time. Every time. I'm showing them uh, your badass intro. So, I'll try to explain a thing or two here. Dead edge. Just a little backstory. Uh, so, I'm getting ready to move to Austin. Mike's getting ready to move to Austin. Red's getting ready to move to Austin. Red's in, in, in the Austin, like, will be. This is the last. Oh, last oh, yeah. 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 JJ has been in Austin for a while. And, uh. Stay positive. Uh, I was going to do a time period of my life where I was like. I'm sad. <laughs> so, I decided that the only way to do this the right way is for him to just beat the shit out of the goal. Sure. Like, really beat the shit out of what, what did you say after it was over? If I don't go to the hospital, we fail. We fail. We didn't go to the hospital, guys. That was nice. Right? right? This is drama, guys. It's very Yeah. Uh, this is going to be fun. At least someone's in front Chris, you can to the next This is happening in my parents' house right now. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so, this is uh, two minutes long. Oh my god. kicked him in the face by accident. I thought I could that was on that wall. I wanted to show you, uh, I just had on a shirt on. Sorry. Yeah. 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 You have a really big VHS collection, and it plays a major role in the match here. This is a display. Uh, 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 I'm going to see you I'm going to see you in the this. I'm going to see you in the 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 I'm still that pet dog. Yeah, it is. Yes. Chris, we can go to the next one. Oh, yeah, that's just... Oh, that, that, hurt. That, hurt. that really hurts. Someone stop the thing. Can you, uh, can you do show the cat oh. spot? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's in your, that's in your hair. Oh, yeah. This is a good spot. Let's do a red tablet right here. Oh, and he's brushing his hair. He's going to go. Okay, well, you can just let everyone grab my 
You can win easily by just walking down the stairs. Right, 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 right,
bathtub. Oh, it's cold, and I am underdressed. So, wait, hold on. I, you're there for the Russian occupation watch? Yeah, sure I am. <laughs> this is our unprotected western border. <laughs> you know, the governor here can see Russia from her house. <laughs> wow. Um, so, how's it, how's it going? Oh, very poorly. It turns out the Russians are invading today. <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, uh, the officer. Ah, yeah, yeah, ponima, ponima, yeah. Eh, nie, nie, dragon, nie, dragon, nie. Spasiba, comrade. Oh, anyway. When did you learn Russian? Oh, I've been preparing for this moment for, for a long time now. I, I became fluent in, in Russian, uh, Mandarin, Chinese, and Farsi, just in case. You never know. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to say, I told you so, and we're all fucked! First goes Canada, then goes Washington, down to Oregon, California. It's a Russian song. It's a thing they teach to the, the, to the kindergartners. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, anyway, um, I understand that, uh, that uh, you were planning to move the, the panel show to, to California. That's probably not going to be in your best interest. Uh, stay in Austin where they got the guns. Build that wall, baby, because they are fucking coming. The officers! Damn them! Oh. Anyway, uh, those <laughs> Vidalia panel show remember me. Bye! <laughs> Won't be in another couple of days, apparently. Traditional Alaskan bagpipe music. <laughs> it's, it's game time, right? It's game time. Woo! That's what it is. So us set up for game. Hey, who likes games? Woo! Wow, you're in for a treat. We've got games. <laughs> and we can bring out uh, all of the people that have uh, been on the stage tonight. Roy Red. Bring out uh, Xavier, Virgil, all you guys, come on out. We're going to play a game called Bill Murray or No. <laughs> Say it right. Nah. Say it right. Nah. Bill Murray or Nah. Thank you, JJ. Your previous behavior was very appropriate of Groundhog culture. On behalf of all humans, I am sorry. Good tag on to that. Yep. Sure. I feel so, out here all alone. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's a simple game, guys. We're going to read a movie quote, and uh, you're going to have to guess whether it was Bill Murray who said it in the movie, or if it was a different actor who said it in the movie. And we're going to start with Virgil. Okay. Oh, and by the way, let's uh, just let's make it clear. Uh, Virgil and Xavier are a team, and Ryan Red. Oh. Hey, if we win, I have a prize for a member of the audience. We what, don't. Do say what the prize is? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, if they win, I also have a prize for the audience as well. Yo, bro, where's the incentive? Sounds like a win-win situation. It's, we have a bigger prize. <laughs> Bill Murray or... What? No. A groundhog? How's it going? <laughs> Can I refill your eggnog for you? Get you something to eat? Drive you out to the middle of nowhere and leave you for dead. Is that a Bill Murray quote? Or no. No help from the audience. Who goes first? Yeah, that's not that Bill Murray. I said that that's Bill Murray. Is it Bill Murray? Hey, did we get a buzzer sound? <laughs> Why don't you just make a buzzer sound? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there was so much suspense, I thought maybe we weren't gonna play the buzzer. Would you guys like to steal? Sure. <laughs> I think it isn't Bill Murray. It is not Bill Murray. What's that, Mayor? Clark Criswell, Chevy Chase. Uh, That's a Chevy uh, Chase. Uh, of course it is. Of course, of course it is. This game is like, it's like, it's like, it's like playing winner's ball in one on one basketball. You're like, win the game. You did something wrong. I hate winner's basketball. All right. So right Red and That's Roy. Good. Yeah. Let's, let's go with. Let's go with Roy. Okay. Answer this one. Can I confer? Can you confer? Let's let's ask our judges. Conferring is fine. Conferring, Conferring is fine. That's, That's why you're a team. That's why you're a team. Right. So All right. So, Bill Murray or no? Okay. Yes, Your Honor. This man has no dick. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Love that line. Ghostbusters one. I saw I saw it with a girlfriend. She hated the entire movie except that line. She loved that line. Wait, how many times have you seen Ghostbusters 1? Point of order? 
Do you get bonus points for useless details? <laughs> yes! Another point! Another point! <laughs> thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you Marshall, for reminding us. Very stacked! <laughs> Someone's hit that sweet gift! Alright, Jay. Okay. All right. I don't have TV where I come from, so I don't know how this is gonna work. I mean, we <laughs> got a very good chat tonight. Let's find out. <laughs> Baby steps, get on the elevator. Baby steps, get on the elevator. Bill Murray or no? Oh, they're talking it over. Gonna go yes, Bill Murray. Bill Murray! Nice to see you. Yeah. yeah. It is Bill Murray. <laughs> Bill Murray! <laughs> I mean, I mean, each round we, we make up a new rule. Seriously? Your rule worked against you last round. His rule worked for him this round. So you gotta make up a rule this time. Because these are the breaks. <laughs> check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I don't like it. I was trying to do a comment. Was a call back to All right, I was saying, I think so, I got it, Ren and Roy just passed, and we're what? back to Virgil. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, that's my fault. Sorry, it's I didn't even get a turn yet. Uh, Bill Murray or no? Point, point of order, new rule. Can this question be worth three points? Yeah. Yeah! Three yeah. point question! Three point question! It's a triple round! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a speed round, so you have to answer before I finish with the question. The question isn't what are we going to do, the question is what aren't we going to do. Nah! No. It's Ferris Bueller! Uh, what have you got? I just want to steal them. It's the, the Ferris Bueller saying. Oh, no, no. You don't have to ask permission to steal, you just take. Oh, no. I don't you ask, you don't get them. Now I'm confused. I was, I was borrowing them. Hey, I like this game now. This one is for Red. This one's worth five points. <laughs> Nobody is going to hit as hard as life, but it ain't how hard you can hit. Bill Murray! No yeah. rule, I'm taking this question. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you can't just change this. Deliver the question. And a speed round. Guys, I just want to play the game. It's a speed round. Point of clarification, is it still the speed round? <laughs> <laughs> it is a speed round. Yeah, it's a speed round. Yeah, it's not. 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 Yeah, it's Nine to five. Just right. the Dolly Parton song. This is uh, the last a question, song. and it's worth uh, yeah, five right. points. So the whole rest of the game didn't matter. So. <laughs> this one is for the game. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is this is open. You must wait until the quote is read. Then the first person, not read. The first person <laughs> answers correctly. The question must be read. Well, yes. Not you. No, you can, you can answer. answer. You can answer it. Can I answer? When the question yeah, is read. Yeah, but not yet. But not you. It's, a, it's an ultra pod. They're not a sponsor. <laughs> not yet. It's hard having an anybody name from ultra pod is out there listening. Sponsor. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go on an overnight drunk, and in ten days, I'm going to set out to find the shark that ate my friend and destroy it. Anyone who wants to tag along is more than welcome. Bill Murray. Yes, Bill, Bill Murray. Murray. Everybody wins. <laughs> Hey, we usually end these shows with toast, so anybody that has a drink, let's hold that up. 